guys welcome back to the new video so in this video we're gonna make this uh, make this page uh, so here you can see that i have the data by using an api so in this video we're gonna use the api which is called coin jacko api for fetching the data from this api so here you can see that i have make a page of all the exchanges in the stock market trading okay so here you can see that uh, i have fetched the data from this api coin jacko and uh, for uh, fetching the api data i have used uh, exchanges api here and here you can see that if you go to this api and uh, execute it you can see that here is the requested url and when you go through this url you will get the data so here you can see that the first uh, the first one is the binance data and here the first one is the binance data and if you want to see second and third the second one is the gate gdax okay gdax and gate and third one is the gate so by using this api i have fetched the data and this is made using uh, elementor and jet engine plugin so if you want to learn how to make this by using jet engine rest api and with the help of elementor how you can fetch the api data and show that data in your front end of your website so let's start the video and so one more thing here you can see that if you go to view more you will redirect to its main page okay so this all data is coming from this api so let's see how we can do this and fetch the data okay so for demonstrating this i have made a new wordpress dashboard on insta wp okay so here i have installed only two plugins elementor and jet engine so let's go to jet engine uh, when you go to jet engine here you can see that there is rest api listings just enable that and save it so when you save this uh, so when you save this you can see that here is an, one more option rest api endpoints go to rest api endpoints and then click on new and new endpoints so here i am going to enter a name so let's enter the name saying this here you have to type the api endpoint url so for the api endpoint url we have to go to the api and here you can see that i have the exchanges api so this is the requested url we have to just enter this url here so here you can see that i have entered the url and uh, then after here we have to set the authorization for this so for the authorization we uh, we're going to use the custom header so here you can see that if you fetch it here uh, here are the response headers so use only one for just for the authorization purpose so i am using this catch control and this is its value okay let's put the value here and then click on send request so it will send the request and here you uh, here you can see that the status comes is okay true and it's now correct okay so let's save the data our api is running successfully so for seeing the result we have to go to the query builder go to the query builder and here you have to enter the query so for entering the query let's name the query changes here too and then go to uh, rest api query then here select endpoint exchanges and here you can uh, uh, so here you can see that all the results are coming if you click on this so here you can see that all the results are coming the id here the total results are 100 and this is id binance and all the data we are getting okay so just close this preview and add query so this query is now saved okay so now we have to go to the listings so for this we have to make a listing okay just go here and uh, rest api endpoint select exchanges i just enter the name and create listing 
so uh, this is the page where you gonna uh, design your listing so this first one is the first listing so we uh, we are going to design this according to you okay so here i'm going to use a different design for this uh, just cancel it if you want to use elementor pro you can use it means the latest version of the elementor this comes with container flex blocks i'm not going to use this because uh, this is currently not the pure alpha version it's it's a uh, also have some bugs which i faced so i'm not going to use this okay. let's make this page okay so this is not the page sorry uh, this is for a listing so just make a one column and so what you want to display so dynamic fields okay so we want to use here dynamic uh, you can also use dynamic fields here okay so first we want to display the image okay so for displaying the image let's uh, use image a normal image okay. let's give a padding first i'm going to give the padding of 50 so here you can see that there are dynamic tags just go to dynamic and choose rest api so when you choose rest api you want to see here the fields so here you got the image okay. so like this you got the image so now what we want to display we don't want to make this exactly same now i'm gonna display the name okay so for displaying the name choose the text here and then go to dynamic text then go to rest api and go to name so here you can see that we got the name here just right it will curve come like this let's style this Let's enter it. Uh, let's give some margin at the top. Okay, they look nice. But uh, here I have used the circle image. If you wanna do this circle, uh, let's increase its size a little bit. Okay, let's make it twenty. So if you want to make this image circle, uh, you just give your border radius, so it will become a circle. Right? Here I'm not gonna use a circle because I want to make this a little different from this. So I'll keep it like this. this one now we gonna display the country. Just duplicate it and go to the API field name and here choose the country. Okay, so let's use a little bit like this image and here I use this. Just make it. Thank you. Okay, I'm just displaying. Go to REST API, advanced, and here. Country. So we will get the country here. Now, if you want to display the description also, just go to there. Okay, make it center, and go to dynamic tags and uh, go to rest api field go to this and choose the description of this okay so let's see we're not getting any description okay uh, let's do the trust score okay the okay the i think the description is blank okay so we are not gonna display the trust code here let's delete it so now i'm gonna use a button for the link okay just choose the button here add it make it center and go to your dynamic tags in the links go to rest api field here and choose the url okay try to clear read more uh let's give it a color 
I'm gonna use blue color here. Okay. So this is done. Let's remove this padding and add the padding in this container. Fifty. Okay. Let's uh, add a border shadow also. Let's put it. So now our listing is ready. So let's just save it. Okay. Let's get back. To the dashboard so now we make our this listing and we have to show this listing on a page okay so for so for displaying this on a page you have to make a page for this so let's go to all pages here add a new page let's name it saying this okay here go to default again and choose this Okay, let's save it. Then go to this. Okay, sorry. Okay, let's add it with Elementor. So now we're gonna make this exchanges page using Elementor. Okay, so let's add a container. I'm gonna give a padding of the pixel up and down okay. uh, let's use this time the black thing okay so uh, let's type the listing grid here let's drag and drop okay so first I'm gonna dis I'm, I'm gonna use a text here changes that it I'm gonna use all white and I'm gonna use the font Ralawe. Okay. So let's drag and drop the grid. Listing grid and here we go. So here we're gonna use the search that name exchanges. So now see the magic happens. So here you can see that all listening games, but you can see that uh, uh, it is coming like that because we have used the black one. So let's go to our for this. Let's go to our listing. You just have to edit edit this and make this white background. Just make this white and update it. And here also update this. Uh, we have saved the changes there, so it will automatically apply here when we view the page. Okay, we don't have to reload that element page here and then apply. It will it will automatically affect the whole listings. Okay, so here so here you can see that all the listing games. Okay, and uh, this is coming up and down because of the name. So you can make the design according to you. I'm going to use the border radius also here of 20 pixel. Let's refresh it. So here you can see that we are getting all the data from the API. Okay. If you go to there, you uh, let's uh, add this button. Open the new tab option. Okay, let's refresh the page. So after refreshing the page, you can see that all the stylings are applied and all the all the border details is applied here. So let's click to read more, and it is opening in the new tab also. So this is the way you can fetch the data from the API and display it on your front end. Okay. So I hope you like our video. If you like our video, please support our channel. We make such awesome cool videos of Elementor REST API and on Elementor 
and uh, our react series also coming is on the way so if you like our video please subscribe to the channel and support us and please share our video with friends i am going to see you next time